Today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up my preferred way of playing DOS games. The way we're going to set this up is by using DOS Box Game Launcher or DBGL and DOS Box Staging, which is a fork of DOS Box designed to be a general improvement over the original and is by far one of the best DOS Box forks for gaming and other things. But after you're done downloading these two files, extract them into your desktop. Important! Make sure to run DOSBox staging at least once before doing the next step because it creates the config file you're going to need for the second step, which is launching DOSBox Game Launcher and head to DOSBox versions. Click on add version and locate your DOSBox staging directory, exe, and config file. But the config file is located at this directory here. And after this, we've done the first part, which is setting up DOSBox Game Launcher. And now let's head to the second part. So there's two ways that DOS games are going to be set up when you download them off of the internet or through Steam or wherever you get your DOS games. Image files, which are DOS games that need to be installed through DOSBox and are usually are bin files, Q files, or .iso files. But these are pretty easy to use after I tell you how to use them. And the second way is DOS ROMs or DOS RIPs, which are DOS games that have already been extracted, already been installed, and do not require installation and are easy to set up. So I'm going to show you how to set up the first option, and then I'll teach you how to set up the second option afterwards. So let's get to it. So to set up image files, all you have to do is go to Add Game Wizard, put the name of the game you're going to do, click on Next. If you get an error or like a notification saying it didn't come up with the config, don't worry. Just click Next again. And then it, you should see a thing that, sh that tells you to locate your, your, your image file. So grab your image file and click on it. You will see a sub menu and just find the install.exe or install.bat. Then click on it and then click next. And then DOSBox will open and install the game as you should. And now you have your game installation. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the second way, which is the DOS ROMs, which is easier than the first one because you should probably have this by now. So all you have to do is go to Add Game Wizard, click on the first option, the top option, and then put the name of the game as usual. And all you have to do is locate your exe location and your setup file location, which are pretty easy to find because they're just in your game directory. There you, and then just follow the steps as you did the first time. And there you go. Now you have DOSBox Game Launcher set up properly. This is by far one of my favorite videos ever. I love 
being a gamer and I love shooting. I hope you have a good time and enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you guys found it useful. See you later!